Please help. I am under strong warfare. Strong and stern word, honey. Um, and this was a word that I, I got inspired by a question that I was asked. Now, I knew because God revealed to me that this person was going to respond in, in pride and arrogance. However, God still told me to give them what thus saith the Lord. And that is what I'm going to always do. This person asked me a question on YouTube. She said, sis, I need you to pray for me. I'm going through a lot of warfare. As soon as I read her comment, God told me she's not going through warfare. She's actually reaping, reaping a harvest of the seeds that she sown. You know what she said to me? She said, how? Because I told her God is so far away from her. She said, how is that so when I get all these visions? Do you know how many witches I've met that get powerful visions and revelations and dreams? Do you know how many witches I met that know how to prophesy accurately? Don't worry, y'all wait. You must ain't read the Bible verse that said the gift comes without repentance. Message. Help, I'm experiencing warfare. That's the title of this message. Many believe they are going through warfare, and it's actually a lie. People are receiving a harvest from the seeds that they have sown over the years. Many people are incredibly delusional when it comes to the things of God. They call themselves Christians, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. They confess Jesus with their lips, but their hearts are so far away from Christ. They do witchcraft, fornicate. Sleep with married men, ride around drunk, high, going to nightclubs, extremely negligent as parents, hooking up with all these people online, self-pleasuring themselves with toys, give themselves over to countless amounts of people, enjoy having sex with demons in their sleep. And then they get in the comments and ask people to pray for them. Many of you this year have asked people to pray for you. You haven't even successfully prayed for yourself for 30 days. When they know they're not saved, they're extremely lukewarm. They live defeated lives. They look for man to be their savior instead of Christ. 90% of these people will never step into their purpose. God will make you sacrifice many things. All the temptations of your flesh, you will have to lay to the side. God will even make you give. God will make you leave toxic relationships he'll make you get away from toxic family members and even friends that you may have been friends with for 20 25 years god will have you consecrate your flesh for years and most people won't even sacrifice an hour of prayer if god told 90 percent of you that are going to see this video for 90 to 180 days he wants you to pray for an hour every day you would fail miserably in the kingdom, you must make sacrifices. Everybody has to sacrifice for the kingdom of God. Jesus will make you suffer for his name's sake. Many of you will not suffer for the gospel. You will not tell people the truth. This is why many people, there's no reason for you to have the gift of prophecy. Because if God told you to prophesy to somebody about them molesting their family members, you going to fold every time. You're going to be shaking in your boots and you're going to be afraid, but you're not afraid to put your mouth on a man that you just met. Message. Jesus is looking for a group of people that will teach his gospel unhindered, unfiltered, and give people the truth. I pray that when you see this video, that the conviction of the Lord comes upon you. Many of you that watch this video, God is saying you need to rededicate your life to Christ and actually mean it this time. Many of you don't have faith to serve God. And faith comes by a hearing and hearing the word of God. How can you develop faith when you listen and get all your revelation from a pastor that God ain't called? Just because somebody got ordained and got a church don't mean that they're called by Christ. Just because they put on a performance and they got praise and worship music don't mean that they've been called by God. Look at the people that Jesus chose. It says that the apostles were ordinary men and they were uneducated. They were not like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, baby. They were ordinary men, but they loved God. <laughs> How can you develop faith when you won't pray, when you won't fast? When you won't read the word of God every day and downloading the Bible app and saying a Bible verse and posting it on your Instagram stories is not reading the word, sis. 
Stop lying to these men and telling these men that you serve God and you on fire for him and you got your legs spread so far apart within 30 days of meeting him. And you, the main one talking about you looking for a kingdom spouse. You're not even kingdom material. You don't even have the gift of discerning the spirits. Do you know how many people have been bewitched into marrying the wrong spouse from false people in the church? Witches. Do you know a whole group of witches tried to conspire a plan to do that to me about a man that was in my mentorship? Y'all got to wake up. You got to wake up and you all need to stop being so delusional. Why do you think God wiped out an entire, he, he, he wiped out the whole world and only left Noah and his family? What does that tell you? The road to get to God is very narrow. This can be found in Matthew. Y'all think you so special and you think that you just going to walk on into heaven and everything going to be all right. And it's not. You all have the audacity to think you're going through warfare. Some of you even be under the comments saying, yeah, people doing witchcraft to me. They jealous of me. They envious of me. People don't even know y'all. You're going through warfare. You're, you're experiencing just a result of all the things that you've done. Many of you, you don't even have a platform. I look at y'all pages. You got all these weird emblems up. A lot of you repost other people content on TikTok. You don't even show your real faces and be talking about some, you going through extreme warfare. Don't nobody even know you. You all need to wake up. You all really need to give your life to Christ and stop lying on social media. It is actually quite sad. And another thing too, don't ever ask me my opinion about something when you don't have no respect for me. This is why I'm not quick to, I'm not quick to respond to you all. I don't work for none of you. I tell y'all that all the time. You're not going to press me into anything. And when I tell you with us, say of the Lord, baby, you, oh, baby, you fight mad. You ready to swing off me. But then you will stay in a relationship with a man who will knock you upside your head for eight years. And then got the audacity to say that the devil is after y'all union when both of y'all two demons two toxic demons living in a household. You're, you have two, you got kids there. Those are baby demons. They're going to grow up and be just like you. And then you confu confuse when your daughter grow up and, and deal with a man just like you. You ain't broke not one generational curse, but you the ones that standing in the altar line. You got snot running down your nose. You study begging the pastor, praying and stuff like that for your family. And you ain't fasted the whole year. This don't even make sense. And then you get mad when I tell y'all the truth and you tell me I'm not, I'm not displaying the fruits of the spirit. I am displaying the fruits of the spirit. And if you all, if you all had any sense, you would have been one to God about who apostle Genesis truly is. And baby, you would have got your answer. I pray this message convicts you. I pray you get out of these comment sections and stop lying to people and telling them that you're going through warfare. You're not even walking in your purpose. Stop. We need to wake up in Jesus name.